Good day, folks. Today I would like to discuss endoscopic ultrasound. My name is Emil Lewitt and I'm a hepatobiliary surgeon. This video was prompted by the need I noticed for people to understand and know what endoscopic ultrasound involves and what is used for in a concise video explaining the procedure. I'm often asked by patients and their families what an endoscopic ultrasound is, what are the benefits, and are there any risks attached? It may also help other healthcare providers who have queries about the procedure and are unable to explain to their patients what it is about. Furthermore, there are learners out there such as medical students that would like to have a concise overview of what endoscopic ultrasound is without going into much detail. By listening through to the end, most of your questions should be answered and matters surrounding the procedure will be clarified. Endoscopic ultrasound is an endoscopic procedure. It is when a small camera is introduced through the mouth and advanced into the food pipe all the way to the first part of the small bell, also known as the duodenum. There are no cuts on the skin. At endoscopy, one can inspect the inside layer of the structures, but the deeper layers remain hidden. Combining ultrasound with the endoscopy, can, one can now inspect the deeper layers hidden behind the inner layers of the stomach and duodenum with the help of ultrasound. Sonar is specialized sound waves projected through a structure. The feedback can be interpreted and information about these structures are obtained. When both these two features are put together, an endoscopic ultrasound is performed. The procedure is usually performed as an outpatient procedure under conscious sedation in a theatre endoscopy room. There may be a need in some cases to perform a general anaesthesia and an overnight stay may be required when certain procedures are performed. I'll cover this later in the video. Inspection of the layers of the food pipe, also known as the esophagus or the stomach, can be performed. This is useful to give information about certain cancers such as stomach cancer or esophagus cancer. It helps with staging of the cancer and one can decide on further procedures. The information is interpreted in the context of other investigations such as CT scan or PET scan. Endoscopic ultrasound has changed the way we investigate the pancreas and the bile duct. We now have the ability to access the pancreas tissue with a fine needle Clinicians are able to evaluate the structure close by and get more detailed information with this investigation. A fine needle passed through the stomach or duodenum into the affected area of the pancreas can be used to get tissue biopsies. Tissue biopsies in return is sent to the pathologist who can interpret the results and can help to diagnose diseases such as cancer or pancreatitis and other diseases. Another advantage in that endoscopic ultrasound brought about is the use in conjunction with other tests such as MRI scan and ERCP. It is possible now to perform endoscopic ultrasound and an ERCP at the same time and one can diagnose certain, certain problems such as small stones in the bile duct and manage it immediately with ERCP to remove bile duct stones in a single setting. This may shorten a hospital stay and decrease the cost of investigation. It has also opened up opportunities to investigate other problems such as microcalculi of the gallbladder, which may explain why certain people develop problems such as acute pancreatitis. It is also useful to detect very small stones in the bile duct. It can also access some difficult to reach organs such as the left adrenal gland for biopsy. Because of its access to deep organs of the abdomen, certain procedures are being performed more and more through this modality. The bile duct may be stented where another invasive procedure may have been required. This allows for a single anesthetic and shorten the hospital stay and the associated medical costs. Drainage of serocysts of the pancreas as a result of pancreatitis are now commonly performed. By using endoscopic ultrasound guided methods, a drain can be placed either into an abscess collection or a fluid collection of the pancreas. It allows for what is called a step-up procedure in the management of pancreas necrosis. Another useful procedure that's being performed through endoscopic ultrasound is neurolysis of the celiac axis ganglion to manage pain for cancer or chronic pancreatitis. A new procedure that are gaining favor 
and is being used more frequently as a stent placement between the stomach and the jejunum for drainage of gastric outlet obstruction related to pancreas cancer. As you see, the procedures are becoming more and more refined and more procedures are being developed as the technology is improved. I hope you enjoyed this short overview of an endoscopic ultrasound and its many useful benefits associated with many, many invasive investigations. Once again, if you like this, please leave a comment and if you would like other videos to explain similar problems, please leave a message in the text below. Until next time, goodbye.